Hello everyone, this is the Tech Central and in this video I'll be doing my thoughts and first impressions of the new Nexus devices that were recently released. I'll be covering the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 9. So without further ado, these are my first impressions of the new Nexus devices. So let's start with the Nexus 6. For the CPU, it's got a Snapdragon 805 processor with a 2.7 GHz quad-core CPU. For the graphics, it's got the Adreno 420. The screen is a 5.9 inch display, 2560 by 1440 quad HD AMOLED display with 431 ppi. It's also got a huge 3220 milliamp hour battery and 3 gigs of RAM. All of these specs sound great, but in my opinion, it's just too big. A lot of people are liking phablets now, but 6 inches is a little too much. And I know that each phone had the name of the screen size, like the Nexus 4 had a 4.7 inch display. The Nexus 5 had a 4.95 inch display, but I don't think they should have made the Nexus 6 a 6 inch display. Because what will happen next year? Will they find another name or will they stop making the Nexus line and start Android Silver? And Motorola made it, which is fine, but they made it look just like the Moto X, just bigger. And if you put them side to side like this, the Nexus 6 does look like a bigger version and it runs Android 5.0 Lollipop which is the newest version of Android that has also just been released. They will have a 32GB and 64GB model in cloud white and midnight blue which almost looks like a black. So what's the difference between the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 6? The hardware is a main change but there are many different changes between them. The camera has improved a lot, there are more megapixels and the overall experience is better with no lagging. Another major change is the price. The Nexus line was cheap, was a cheap option for great quality phones, but this year they changed that. The Nexus 6 is almost double the price of the Nexus 5. I think that's fine, but the jump was too big. It's one of the best phones in the market that you can pick up now and it's up against the iPhone 6 Plus and the Note 4. So now let's move on to the Nexus 9. HTC made it, it's 9 inches, so it's between the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. It has the HTC Boom Sound front facing speakers, which is great, and I think all phones and tablets should have front facing speakers because the audio quality is just great with them. It has a 192 core Kepler GPU and a 64-bit NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor with 2.3 GHz of GPU and 2 gigs of RAM. It has an 8 megapixel camera and 6700 mAh battery which should last a pretty long time. It has a soft touch feel which will feel great in the hands. It comes in 3 great colours, white, black and gold. You can get the 16 gigabyte model or the 32 gigabyte model. I think that Google and HTC have done an excellent job with this tablet and I think I might purchase this in the future. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.